What's going on guys? Richie here. In today's video, I'm going to be bringing you guys, um, talking to you, well, bringing you guys some uh, point of view content today, but I'm going to be talking about why I chose the Mustang, uh, the 2018 Mustang DT over the 2019 Camaro SS. Now real quick, if you all can get a look at this, this is basically what my house is going to look like in three years when I get done building it. That's exactly like, look at that color on that brick. That is amazing in that stone. Anyways, guys, well, I'm going to be talking to you all why I chose the 2018 Mustang GT, 2019 Mustang, uh, the Gen 3 Coyote over the new 2019 uh, Camaro 2SS 1LE that I ordered. Uh, so for you all who don't, who don't know, I ordered a 2019 Camaro 2SS 1LE in red, uh, in red hot uh, was the color that I ordered. And I was super excited. You know, I'm, I'm 21 years old and I'm ordering my own car, you know, like sports car at that, you know, my own Camaro. And uh, if I wanted to, I think, uh, I'm pretty sure they said I had an option. I could watch the car be built. I think you can do that nowadays. I know you, you uh, used to be able to do that with Corvettes, and I know you still can. You can watch your personal car be built. But I think I could have done that for my Camaro as well, which would have been cool. But, you know, uh, I didn't wind up, you know, being able to do that. Uh, but I still got the car. The car came in. It came in pretty fast. I got actually the first week of production on the 19s is when my car was built. So that kind of scares, scares me a little bit, but it still would have been cool to have a lot of fun. Let's do a quick little, uh, let's do a 10 to 55. Damn, that's fun. Anyways, see, it's nice to be able to bang your own gears again, man. I tell you, you know, from driving an automatic, my first car ever was a 95 Z28. My second car was a 99 SS and then uh, I bought a 2015 Scion FRS and then I owned a 2017 Camaro SS and being able to bang your gears is, is great. That's one of my favorite things. Granted, I'm sure there's going to be guys, well, oh, can't, can't you wait to break your shift forks? You're right. I cannot wait to break my shift forks. But anyways, I'm getting off topic. Anyways, I chose the Mustang over the Camaro because of a few things. First of all, when I ordered my 2SS 1LE, I was told. I should be out the door around $45,000. At that point, I don't care. Whatever you need to do, order it, get it done, whatever, $45,000, cool. Car gets there, comes back, I'm financing for $54,496, I think it was. And at that point, I had to step back and say, whoa, that's $9,000 over what I thought I was gonna spend. Now, you may think, well, oh, well, you can't afford that monthly payment. My monthly payment was gonna be like $824 a month, which is you know, $200 more than I pay now. And that's not the problem. The problem is for $54,000, I could have got a used ZL1. I might have been able to get a new leftover 2017 ZL1 for that price, maybe. Um, but for you all who don't know, the Camaro, the sixth generation Camaro Z01 is my dream car at the moment. I would love to own a sixth gen Z01. I'm in the financial position to do that. I just don't because I, I was waiting till spring, like I said in my last video. Then I happened to walk in on this amazing deal I got on this uh, 2018 premium performance pack Orange Fury Mustang GT. But for me, like I said, I ordered that car, it came in, it was great. I drove the car for 30, you know, I drove, I did a pretty long test drive. I drove it for about 30 miles. 30-ish miles, something like that. I put a lot of miles on the car, I thought. And it was great, I, I liked the car, but the price, I, I stepped back and I said, look, I, I don't know if, I, if I'm gonna buy this vehicle now. And they're like, well, what's wrong? And I said, well, you all told me $45,000. This car, I'll pay $45,000, but for an extra $9,000, I could get a lot more than this car. You know what I mean? There's a lot I could, uh, there's a lot I could get. two deer walking across the road and there's a hunter right there that guy didn't even see him there's a guy in this field right here that i just passed there's a guy in the very back and <laughs> that's funny but uh that's what i'm gonna be doing later tonight i'm gonna be hunting this evening but uh you know the, the nine thousand dollars is a lot of money it, it is so you know that was one of the turning points away for me on choosing the camaro granted this car brand new now if we're comparing apples to apples this car brand new sold for fifty one thousand dollars oh shit there's a dog in the middle of the road people you gotta get Jesus Christ this is a hazardous road but you know you, you gotta uh, you know if we're comparing apples to apples you know three thousand dollar difference in these cars uh, but the reasons why I chose the Mustang I chose the Mustang because for really three reasons there's three reasons why if I was buying this car again I would choose the Mustang over the Camaro it's not performance okay 
performance, in my opinion, 100% goes to the Camaro. There is not a better handling car I think you can get for the price than a Camaro SS1 LE. Those things, if I was driving down this road right now, this backcountry road, and that thing, I would be, I, well, I probably wouldn't be flying after all those, as you can just see, a dog and a deer, two deer, uh, you know, but man, that the one LE handles better than any car I've ever driven in my life, period. This car is a performance pack car, it's just a performance pack one car, and it handles pretty well, but it handles nothing like the Camaro. And I'm not saying that to be a Chevy guy, I'm saying there's guys that say, oh, the one LE is overrated. Go out and drive one, okay? And when I say drive, I don't mean drive it straight on the highway. I mean get out and drive that car, and you will see that your 1SS and your 2SS is nothing compared to the 1LE. The 1LE is an amazing package, and in my opinion, it, it's worth the $7,000 if you track your car. If you're buying it for a daily driver, you're not going to track your car. I don't feel like it's worth it, but if you plan on taking it to the track or even going down backcountry roads every once in a while, it, it's a must-have. The 1LE package is a must-have. But anyways, the number one thing why I bought this car is the Orange Fury paint. The Orange Fury paint is the most badass paint color I've ever seen on any car, period. I catch myself all the time. When I leave to go to the grocery store or when I leave to go anywhere and I leave this car sitting, I watch this car. I literally watch this car as I'm walking away from it because this color is just... Man, it's, it's, it's so amazing. You have got to see this color in person to really understand how beautiful this color is. And in my opinion, this is the best color on any car ever, period. I know I'm gonna get guys to say, well, what about this, 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 and this? Yes, there are some great colors out there, but in my opinion, this, if I could get this color on a Camaro, I, I would, you know, that I would, this would be the color for me on a Camaro. But they do have their new orange, but it's not. It's nothing like the Orange Fury. The Orange Fury is, is the best color ever produced in any car ever, in my opinion. That was the one reason why I would have chose this car over the Camaro. Another reason, second reason is, when I'm behind the wheel of this vehicle, I feel like I'm driving a spaceship, okay? I do. Uh, this car feels so much, you know, sportier from behind the wheel. I got the digital dash, which isn't an option. You know, their Chevy does not have something like that. If you are looking at getting an 18 or 19 GT, the digital dash is a must have, in my opinion. You have got to have this dash. It's so customizable. It's, it's, it's awesome. It's got so many different modes. You can set it in different uh, aspects of your gauges. And it's just something that you, you just, you, you gotta have. And uh, that's why, you know, another thing for me is this digital dash and the interior in this vehicle, in my opinion, is a lot better. now. I do like the Recaro seats I would have gotten in the 1LE. They were just, I don't feel like they really, I don't know, they weren't really daily driver seats. You know what I'm saying? I bought this car as a daily driver car. Uh, and for me, they, they hugged you in all and stuff, but I didn't have very much movement, free movement and stuff, which is, I'm sure it was the idea of the seats. And that's what, you know, that's what they are. But for this, I feel like these seats are a lot more, uh, the leather in these are, they're, I, I, I can sit in this car for hours. I've driven this car for four hours straight and didn't even, think about you know I, my, uh, I didn't my knees didn't hurt from laying against this nice uh, leather siding uh, right here my ass didn't hurt my back didn't hurt I mean it felt like a, a, a great you know it, it is, I just really like the seats um, another thing is the third reason why I bought this car is <clears throat> I know a lot of people are gonna think I'm an idiot for but the spoiler on the premium performance pack cars that you can get the optional spoiler my god you got to get that too. That that sets this car apart. You know that that sets this car aside. In my opinion, you know the, the rear end of this car with that spoiler is really really aggressive looking. It's it's, it's just a, it's a great it's a great option for the car. Uh, I know you all can't see it right now, but I'm sure you all know what I'm talking about when it comes to that spoiler. I feel like those those three and they're little details. It's little details that get me buying. You know that, that would get me to buy this car again. The digital dash, the color, the spoiler. The fact that I'm driving, I feel like I'm driving a spaceship. You know what I'm saying? Like, like in, when you change your modes in the Camaro, it's just a little thing on your center console you press up or down. Here, I got little like levers that I press up, you know, and I just, it's like, you're, I don't know, it's, I feel like I'm, you know, it's like driving a spaceship. You know what I'm saying? It's like, you got these little levers to change your drive mode, your steering, you know, you got all this that you just you pit up and the, the center console, the Sync 3 system is a lot better than the uh the system that's inside of the the camaro 1le that i was ordering 
Uh, I do wish this car, this Mustang, did come with PDR. That would be another selling factor for the Camaro, is the PDR system is really neat. I use it on my test drive, and being able to go back and watch myself drive, and just save it clips, and download them on your computer, and, and stuff like that. That's And when you're connected to Wi-Fi, you can actually, like, I think you can email them to you. It's really, really neat uh, <clears throat> that I wish I wish I could do it uh, in this car, but this car does not have a PDR option, but it's still got its, its perks. Uh, I'm not going to sit here and tell you to go buy a Mustang over a Camaro. I'm not going to tell you that because really it's going to come down to personal preference. There's things in the Camaro that the Camaro has that the Mustang doesn't, and there's things that the Mustang have, in my opinion, that the Camaro doesn't. So it's really going to come down to personal preference. They both have pretty much the same performance. I will say this. I know I'm going to get a lot of people or Mustang guys in the comments below, but the Camaro is faster in a straight line, in my opinion, and around corners than the Mustang GT is. But who keeps the car stock, okay? This car bolt on with E85, I'm gonna be mid 11s in this car, hopefully. Hopefully not, I know a lot of A10 cars are doing that, but hopefully I can be even even high 11, you know, like 11, 11.7, 11, 11.8 11, in this car, because granted, I'm at, most of the time my DA can sit around, I can get anywhere from 300 to a thousand DA, so I'm at a lot lower DA than most guys. Most guys are around two or three thousand, so that's why I'm saying I can crack those numbers. I think with the 85 and intake on a manual car, I think I can do that. I may snap a few shift forks here and there when doing it, but it'll be fun in the process. And we're gonna have a lot of fun with this car. We're gonna build this car. We're gonna have a good time with this car. And I hope you guys are gonna uh, enjoy this, uh, you know, this car with me. But anyways, guys, those are just the three, four-ish little details on why I chose the Mustang GT over the Camaro, the spoiler. I, like I said, you know, the spoiler on this car, if you, can see, you can't really see it right now, but it's a must have. The paint, the color on this car is a, for me, it, for me, the number one reason I got this car is the paint. I, I, this paint is, 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 man, I just, I love this paint. Uh, the digital dash, the digital dash is, I feel a must have um, in, in the new Mustangs. I feel like you really, really, really need to have the, the digital dash. And then the Sync 3 system, I feel like the Sync, Sync 3 is a lot more user friendly and there's a lot more you can actually kind of do with it. The navigation in this car is a little bit better to use than the Camaros. But anyways, guys, that's about it. I'm getting ready to stop up here at the store, get some food. They got a little deli on the inside of it. And it's, uh, it's pretty neat. It's one of those little country stores that a lot of people don't even really know what they are but because they live in the city. But anyways, guys, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Um, I hope you all um, liked my opinions on the car. If you didn't, leave your opinions down below. I'm feel free. I'm not going to sit here and argue with anybody. Everybody's entitled to their own opinion. I believe that even though I'm a diehard Chevy guy, I own a Mustang, but you know, everybody's entitled to their own opinion and everyone has personal preferences. For me, if I was going to buy do it all over again, those are the little things that would have made me buy this car over a new Camaro. But anyways, guys, that's all I got for you all today. Make sure you all like, comment, and subscribe. Uh, I'm going to be posting another video. I'm going to be making another video here in a few minutes. Um, so uh, I'm not going to post that till probably Wednesday of next week. This, this video is going to go up Saturday afternoon. But I hope you guys enjoy. Like I said, like, comment, subscribe, and uh, stay tuned to the channel. I'm going to try uploading two or three days a week. And if you all like this point of view also, uh, this driving like this, I am going to work on something to get in the strap to my chest or my head, trying to get something that you all can see the whole cluster, everything that's going on. I'm going to be working on getting something like that for you guys. But if you all like, you know, point of view driving or you guys like watching my watching me talk, so let me know down in the comment section below which one you like better. But anyways, that's all I got today. This has been your boy Richie. Have a good one. Peace.